only kill one. What? What? Sarah! Who do you want to hear die? No. Hello everyone. It's a bit of a late video today, so we're gonna get into it. Today, we're talking about uh, Scream 6 and Terrifier 3 news. I'll begin with the news about Scream 6. At Collider.com, there's an article titled, Scream 6 will have the longest runtime in the franchise. It's authored by Shane Romanchik. Romanchik reports that Scream 6 will officially be 2 hours and 3 minutes long, serving as the longest runtime for any movie in the franchise so far. Um, you know, just to put a, an opinion on it real quick, um, I actually have no problem with movies being long, you know, especially slashers or horror movies or um, thrillers, suspense, you know, the longer the better. Like, even Terrifier 2, I think, was over two and a half hours long, roughly about that, and I, it's like I enjoyed almost all of it, you know. So the longer the better. I, I don't need a slasher to be an hour and 20 minutes, you know, like uh, so far through the Scream franchise, it seems the longer the better. Uh, it gives a chance for the story to be told true and, um, you know, character development matters. Um, doesn't feel like things are rushed, you know. So this is good news to me that it's the longest one so far. Uh, this is also on top of the news I reported the other day where the co-directors, aka Radio Silence, have claimed the movie will be intense and fast-paced. We were also blessed with the release of a TV spot the other day, um, and Ghostface is chasing Tara and Sam into the store, something we have already seen, right? Ghostface will subsequently kill the loudmouth man, or at least injure him, and then kill the store owner and take his shotgun. Um, Ghostface is then shown stalking and hunting for Sam and Tara, right? Tara seemingly uh, makes noise by pressing down on a piece of glass and Ghostface turns, you know, as if he knows where they are, right? My assumption is that Sam is going to push over the shelf and it's going to knock Ghostface down. I believe this is how Sam and Tara will survive the dangerous encounter and make their escape. The only thing new, uh... I believe in the TV spot that we haven't really seen so far is Tara and Sam uh, standing back to back inside the shrine. Sam asks Tara if she's ready and Tara confidently responds ready. We then hear Tara yell, come on motherfucker, you know, like that's probably going to be a cool moment in the film. Um, I see she's, uh, you know, taken after her favorite actor of all time. Um, Samuel L. Jackson, which I cannot confirm, that's just me making a joke, but anyway. Yeah, I thought that was a pretty cool moment they added to the TV spot. Uh, it seems like March 10th is so far away and just can't get here fast enough, but hey. Um, it's, it's, it'll, the wait will be worth it. Anyway, in other news, at bloodydisgusting.com, there's an article titled Terrifier 2. Director Damien Leone teases an upcoming horror movie with Sam Raimi's ghost house pictures. It's authored by John Squires. Squires reports a quote from Leone, and here's what Leone had to say, and I'm quoting. I'm writing Terrifier 3 as we speak. I definitely want to make at least one more. There may be two to tell this story and tackle all the ideas that I have in my head, because there's a lot more to explore with Art the Clown, The Pale Girl, Victoria, and certainly Sienna as our final girl. We will f be following her journey to the end of this franchise. So I just wanted to report this news and everything. I thought that was pretty cool. Not only, you know, does Leone want to make a third film, you know, he also is explaining it might have to be split up into two movies, so we might have a fourth film, you know? Um... Uh, here's what I have to say to Mr. Leone. Please make a fourth film. I don't want you to have to jam everything into the third movie and it feel rushed. I don't want a Spider-Man 3 ending to a, a good trilogy, you know? Like, um, you know, just the, the problem with Spider-Man 3 back in the day was just, you know, too many villains, uh, uh, just 
too much story to tell uh, and not enough time for each villain, you know, etc. That kind of thing. I don't want to see that happen to Terrifier 3 if you have to split it up into two films. Um, definitely do it. And since you're, uh, you know, working with Sam Raimi's Ghost House Pictures, his production company, um, that's probably someone you should speak to about how, you know, a third film, how to fail a third film, you know, and how to prevent doing so. That There's no one better than Sam Raimi. <laughs> anyway, I just wanted to report all this news. Um, it looks like we're not going to get Terrifier 3 this year. That's a bit of a bummer. I was hoping we might get it, that it might be the surprise film of the year that comes out near the end, but there's no way, if it's still being written, there's no way that they're going to uh, go into, you know, production and then go into editing and then market this film. Like, there's, I, I don't see it being uh, released this year. It might come out probably 2024 in October, somewhere around there. I suppose that would be the projected time frame. But anyway, just wanted to share this news with y'all. Uh, like and subscribe if you're new here to the familiar faces that I see in the comments. Thank you so much for your love and support. Make sure to have a good weekend.